My name is Yusuf and I'm 13 years old. I have studied the Quran for four years, alhamdulillah, and I have completed the memorization of the Quran. I first started memorizing and trying to learn the Quran when I was seven years old. I, I had no idea how to read or how to uh, even even Alif Bata, I didn't know anything. My name is Ismail Sutuhi. I'm 14 years old. I memorized the Quran when I was 10, and I, it took me one year and a half. When I first began, I used to not know how to read, and my dad used to read on me, and I used to follow him. My name is Zakari Al Baba. I'm 15 years old. I've been studying the Quran ever since I was 11, and inshallah, very soon I'll be finished. How long have you been coming to the Quran school, Zakaria? From the start of this year. How much have you memorized? Seven juz. Seven juz, mashallah. When a person memorizes the Quran, ultimately the first one to benefit from that effort that he puts in is the individual themselves. The biggest responsibility is not really to memorize the Quran, it's more to act upon it. That's not just for people who memorize it, that's for every single Muslim. If it's going to be to impress the people, or if it's going to be as a, just as a hobby, as something to do, you have to act upon that Qur'an that you have memorized. Imam al-Ghazali, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said in his book, he said, Al-ilmu bila amalin junoon wal-amalu bi ghayri ilmin la yakun. Knowledge without action is madness. And action without knowledge is void. And if you do not make amends for days gone by, you will say tomorrow on the day of resurrection, send us back so that we may act virtuously. And he will be replied to you, O oh fool, you have just come from there. I'm really thankful for, for what chance I've been given. Quran is, in reality, it's everything. The existence of the Quran being alive in a community or in a society is in the same way the soul and the spirit of that community and the soul and the spirit of that society.